What's up golfers, welcome back to New Nine Golf. After popular demand, we're back with the Cobra versus the Stealth. We're putting these two head to head with a fitted shaft this time. Let's get into it. All right guys, we're here again at Modern Golf with one of the head fitters and teachers, Jeff Didick. Jeff is gonna be fitting me for both the Cobra LTD XLS and the TaylorMade Stealth Plus. So if any of you guys have been fitted for clubs in the past, maybe you get into the simulator and you're absolutely smashing it. It's the best club that you've ever hit. You're so excited. You get it onto the course, so you start to hit it on the range, and maybe you don't get the same results as inside the bay. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna take both fitted drivers to the course and see if they react the same as inside the bay. So Jeff, why is it so important to get fitted for clubs in general? Absolutely, Ren. As we know, golf is a game of many swings. Each driver doesn't fit each person the same. So it's really important to come in, find out which head shaft combo is the best for them. It's gonna help with dispersion as well as maximizing distance. I'm excited because this was an awesome head to head. If you guys saw our head to head driver bracket series, if you missed it, I'll put a link right up here. You guys can kind of catch up. And spoiler alert. The Cobra LTDX won our entire driver bracket, but it was with the stock shaft option. So Jeff, let's get to fitting. Looking forward to it. Okay, Brandon, so we got the Cobra LTDX LS 9 degree. It's one of the stock offering shafts. It's the hazardous blue, 60 gram extra stiff. We're using TrackMan today to track all our data and we've got the Pro V1 RCT ball. Perfect. So Jeff, throughout the fitting process, like how many, how many driver swings would you say I need until we start switching shafts? For sure. So depending on the customer, how many swings we can get that are actually good, indicative of what they actually swing. Uh, we like to see five or six good ones with the better players. Usually they can just give me five or six. Sometimes it takes a little longer. So I imagine we'll be able to move through this pretty quickly. Well, I hope I fit into that good category. <laughs> so let's give some swings and uh, yeah. let's get this fitting on the way. Yeah. See, I saved my ball speed from when we started filming. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't crack 170 in my warm up. As soon as the cameras are rolling. Yeah, adrenaline kicks in, right? That one's it's pretty, pretty good solid. spin, too. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Keep going with this? Give me one more. Yeah. Okay. That's probably good. So in one. your fitting process, mm -hmm. would you normally look at the data for each driver individually or would you wait till I hit everything and then compare them? Uh, kind of both. Okay. Uh, I like to kind of go through it as you're going. If something's absolutely not working, then I'm just gonna take it away and try something different. So okay. yeah. Well, this shaft like off the hop felt good. This is what we used in our stock option video and this driver ended up winning with this option. Yeah. So this is kind of the benchmark <laughs> for the Cobra anyway. For sure. So let's compare it. I've got the Stealth Plus 9 degree. Uh, it's the Kylie White 60 gram extra stiff. Try to keep them comparable as we start the process and then we'll switch it up from there. So right now the heads are the same settings? Yep, okay. same loft. Everything's as close to the same as we can get it. Okay. Yeah. I forgot how much I like looking down at the Stealth. Right? It is actually such a good looking head. <laughs> really excited for that Cobra black version yeah. to be released. Yeah, that's probably good. Okay. Yeah. So Jeff, so far this year, would you say you've sold more Stealth or Cobra drivers? I'd say it's very close. It's been good for both. Uh, the TaylorMade came out a little earlier, so I think they got a jump on things. But once the Cobra kind of hit the markets and obviously with your guys' video, uh, I think that helped kickstart the Cobra because it's been really good. What do we got in here now? Okay, so we changed the shaft. This is the Tensei White. It's uh, a touch heavier at 65 grams, still extra stiff, still a nine degree. Okay. okay. And is this a stock option? It is a stock option as well, yeah. Okay. Tensei, Tensei. If I remember how I hit it before. Oh, he hates uh, He does not, not like a Tensei? Not a big okay. Tensei fan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Maybe change his mind on the tennis. Yeah, I guess. Game. Well, my swing's gotten like a little bit better. <laughs> the beginning of the season's tough yeah. when we release these. Oh, it's for like sure. In simulator form, not in course form. Yeah. 
I have the shaft in my basement, so I might have to uh, play around with it. Brandon, as you mentioned, you're kind of starting to warm up a little bit. The blood's flowing a little easier. Club speed's maybe jumping a little bit. Once we get to the end, usually there's a couple that are comparable, and I always like to go back to the start and say maybe even hit your driver another couple times just to see if things have changed from when we started. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. So. I feel warmer, I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> And if you guys haven't already, make sure you smash subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can see more videos just like this. That oh, felt good. Yeah, switch it up. Okay. What is it? This is the Aldola Ascent, 60 gram extra stiff stock offering from TaylorMade. It's amazing how many stock options there are. Mm-hmm. Yep, they give us good options for sure. Aldila, that's one of those golf brands I never knew how to say. I was like, is it Aldila, Aldila? <laughs> that little quarter inch makes a difference. It's noticeable, hey? Big time. Yeah. So Jeff, I'm pretty sure that the TaylorMade uh, shafts are all a quarter inch longer than Cobra. Correct, yeah. For whatever reason, TaylorMade's drivers are 45 and three quarter inch. Standard. I noticed it as soon as I went to swing it again. At first I thought maybe, but for whatever reason, just this shaft, I feel it big time. This one seems to be going the highest out of all the shafts we've hit so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your carry's down too. A little spinny. Okay, that's good enough. When you're doing a fitting, is there one number that you'd look at that's an indicator of a good shaft or bad shaft? Um, Number-wise, not overly. Usually we say shaft brings this in and the head does this. Okay. So what we can notice is spin rate might fluctuate depending on the shaft. Uh, distance is gonna as well, so. Cool. But, okay, where are we going from here? Okay, so I've got the Cobra again. I've got the hazardous RDX green 6565 gram. Sweet. So this is not a stock offering. This is an upcharge. This is, now we're getting into the fun stuff. The fun stuff. Yeah. I like fun stuff. Yeah. It's a very subtle green. I've never looked at the shaft. So at a dress, it almost looks black the whole way down. Then I put it in the light and I can definitely see that. Yeah. Green shininess. When you're ready, sir. That'll play. Oh, oh. <laughs> if I could just do that every single time. That was a miss hit, see how a miss hit goes. I was talking earlier about hitting it one way in a simulator versus hitting it one way outside. Yeah. I almost never have a left miss anymore. Really? Never. It's like a push fade. Yeah. So I don't know if that's me just looking at the screen and aiming differently than I would outside. Sure. But it's and it's just funny that I mentioned that at the beginning of the video and that's yeah, something yeah. that I noticed I've had a couple left misses. Well, and that's funny you mentioned because that happens. Like guys will come in and be like, I never hit this left. And all they're doing all day is left. And it's like, I don't know what to tell you. Trackman's pretty accurate, right? True. Well, so, that's why at the end of the video, we'll take it outside and just confirm yeah, everything we got inside. For sure. Try with the stealth. Okay. Excellent. Felt pretty good though, eh? Yeah, it felt really good. <laughs> felt really good. Yeah. Still haven't cracked 180 ball speed yet. Yeah. People say too that I swing harder with the Cobra, and I don't think it's intentional. And yeah. it might be the club. All right, Jeff, what do we got now? Okay, same shaft. It's the hazardous green, extra stiff in the stealth. Okay. Plus, so. So far we've hit like a hand, we, you got a really good sample size of my drives. Yeah. Is it worth changing anything in the head so far that you see? No. I like the, the loft for you. You've been pretty consistent around that 12 degree launch angle, which is kind of ideal for, for what we're looking for. Cool. Yeah. So this is the same shaft I just hit, but just in the stealth. Yep. Cool. I really like looking at this. It is a funky combo. There you go. Sir. With the stealth of the red face and the green shaft, it's kind of a, <laughs> kind of a Christmas driver. There you go. Now 
I definitely like this shaft. Yeah, even a little more launch, that spin rate drop down. Oops, Jeremy came, I spray it. So we have a special guest pop by, Jeremy Marr, who's the head teaching professional here at Modern Golf. Jeremy does our lesson series with us. If you guys wanna get better at golf, I'm gonna put a link right up here where you can check out our lesson series with Jeremy. He's already made me a better golfer and he's definitely gonna help you guys. Just going through the numbers here, Brandon, definitely uh, the stealth seems to pop up a little higher on you. So the next round will maybe get you into an eight, eight and a half, eight degree. Gotcha. I haven't been keeping a close eye on the numbers, but so far that hazardous green seems to have been a pretty good shaft yeah, for me. Really nice. Yeah. Here you go, Brandon, this one should feel familiar. LAGP, LA Golf, I know yeah. these guys. Yeah. So what is this guy? So this is the LA Golf Blue DJ Series. 65 extra stiff. DJ Dustin Johnson. Dustin Johnson himself. So yeah. Dustin Johnson is actually a part owner of LA Golf. Also Bryson, Michelle Wee, all kind of part owners of LA Golf. Yeah. Cool, okay, let's give this guy a hit. I haven't hit the uh, Bryson shaft yet, or sorry, the DJ shaft. They also have a Bryson shaft, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to swing this. You know what, I purposely tried to just play a bit of a cut just because I've had a couple go left, but club head speed's, or ball yeah. speed's still up there. Club head speed's kind of average. 118. Look at that tracer though, I'll take that. Yeah. I like uh, the DJ shaft. <laughs> yep. It's good to me, sir. Okay. That felt really good. Yeah. I like that DJ shaft. Yeah, nice. So now that we're talking about fitted shafts, what's kind of the price range someone could expect to start upgrading their shaft? There's a wide range of pricing we can look at. Anywhere from probably 150 up to 1200 bucks. And what's the $1,200 shaft? If you want to get into the Autoflex, okay. $1,200. Crazy. Yeah. It is crazy. And no refunds with that one. So oh, really? No, that one's a... Final sale. So we're gonna have to save the Autoflex for a different video just because right now we don't have anything for either of these heads. Correct. Uh, so far it's definitely that DJ shaft and the green hazardous, which are both upgraded shafts. Yep. So you notice a uh, difference right away from the stock options. Yep. Some of the stock options were good, but I think consistency wise, those upgraded shafts feel better so far. So now that we have the stealth again, we dialed the loft down. Yes, this is now eight degrees. Um, DJ LA golf shaft. Okay. When you change the loft, mm -hmm. is there an expected ball flight change? Like does it open the club face, close the club face? Yeah, typically when uh, we lower the loft, club face should open up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, still launching pretty high, hey? That felt good. Okay, so this is the other LA golf shaft. Correct. This yeah. is the A series. Yeah, so we've gone up again in weight. This is 70 grams, okay. extra stiff, nine degree head. Okay. This might sound like a dumb question. No. But the difference in weight mm -hmm. for driver shafts, is it yep. a feel thing or why would someone want a lighter or heavier driver? Yeah, it's a good question. So feel is a big part of it. The other part is helping keep the club on the path. So if you see the tour guys, a lot of them are into heavier stuff in their irons and their woods. They just want to be able to turn and that club's going to follow with amateur golfers finding that weight that kind of gives them the good feels is more important. Mm. Sometimes a little heavier can help with stability too. Because 10 grams isn't a ton. Nope. But this feels heavier. Yeah, for from sure. The last right? couple drivers yeah. that we've hit. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I don't think you hit 180 yet though. Yeah. Well, 120 club head speed, that's pretty big. Yeah, that's really good. If I put the foot stomp in, I bet you I get 180. All right. No, maybe not today. Oh, there it is, yeah. 181. Last two were good. 
There we go. See, foot stomp. Foot stomp. Well, yeah. we just released a video with Jeremy, who you guys just saw, and we did a video how to maximize your distance. That foot stomp was my favorite one. Yep. Yep. Well, like Berkshire, he, it's amazing how much he turns his hips, because on impact, he's yep. like this. Sure. So he's, yeah. He's up, pushing, yeah. Yo. Okay, so same shaft in the tailor-made head. Correct. Okay. Yeah, eight degrees again. Okay. It definitely feels like more work to get this 70 gram around. <laughs> Whoops, where did that come from? Yeah. This head just feels four or five miles an hour slower than the Cobra. I'll do a couple foot stomps with this just to see if I can sure. get it close. Ball speed up. That was not not even close to the center of the club face. No. 124, that might be the fastest club head speed. Okay, so this was the first one with the Cobra. It was the hazardous uh, blue. Um, I mean, your club speed is your club speed. Ball speed was really good. Spin rate, excellent. Launch angle was pretty close to perfect. Great numbers, but yeah, little left, little right. Not as tight as we'd like. We compared to the Stealth with the Kai Lee. Again, club speed, ball speed in and around the same. Spin was a little higher, as we saw a little higher launching. Distance is still really good, but a little left, little right, not quite where we're looking. Cobra with the Tensei, a little faster. Distance getting up there a little bit, but again, we're left and right. Uh, this was the Cobra with the RDX Green. Ball speed, club speed up a touch, spin way down. Distance is really good. Couple really good ones, couple that got away from me a little mm -hmm. bit. So uh, same shaft with the Stealth. Club speed, ball speed up, spin really good again. Distance good, but not quite what we're looking for. Uh, this was the Cobra with the DJ Blue LA Golf, which you love. Crazy. Ball speeds up a bit, distance is huge, and dispersion is much tighter. Tighter yeah. by far than right. anything else. Yeah. Uh, same shaft with the Stealth Plus, <laughs> not so good. That's when we changed the loft. We changed the loft down to the eight here, that's <laughs> right. Uh, so the launch angle is much better. Uh, you slow down a touch. Distance is still really good, but something with that one just didn't right, yeah. pan out. Which is crazy, that's why we were talking about the same shaft in a different head yep. will get different results. So go back to the yep. Cobra with it. That dispersion, then go to the stealth, right? Crazy. Yeah, <laughs> really crazy. Swing speed's pretty close. Ball speed's a couple off, but yeah, for whatever reason, yeah. just... And then the last one we hit was the black. Not as good with the Cobra. I mean, you got faster. Good ball speed, good distance, but left and right. And then with the, wow. the stealth, it was really good. Crazy, right? that's so funny. Ball speed, club speed right there. Good launch, good distance. So cool. Yeah. All right guys, so since I went through that fitting process with Jeff, we've narrowed down two shafts and they're actually both the same manufacturer, which is LA Golf, which there's no bias at all. We showed you guys the data and they just performed better. In the Cobra, the LTDX LS, we're going nine degree head. Yep. And we've put the DJ Blue LA Golf 60 gram X stiff shaft in. Correct. That was the best in my fitting. That was, absolutely. In the Stealth Plus, we're also going LA Golf, and this is with their A-Series, which is 70 grams, and we've dialed the head down to eight degrees. Yes. Jeff, thank you so much for having us and doing the fitting with me. Yeah, my pleasure. Um, that was a lot of fun. It was really good to get a fitting, and hopefully the audience can appreciate all the wisdom that you shared with them. Yeah. If any of you guys are in the Calgary area and you want to get fit, head over to Modern Golf and just ask for Jeff Didick. So thanks, buddy. My pleasure. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take both of these drivers to the course to see if they perform as good outside as they did inside the bay. So let's go over to the course. All right guys, now that we made it to the course, it's time for this final step in our driver head to head. We're at my home course of Country Hills in Calgary, Canada, and this is the 18th hole of the Ridge course. This is an awesome uphill par four where I can really go after these drivers. So what we're gonna do is I have 10 balls total and they're all Pro V1s. Five are marked for the Cobra, five are marked for the Stealth. We're gonna put these head to head to see which one of these drivers is best for me. Let's start hitting some balls. Okay guys, so the first driver I'm gonna hit is gonna be the Cobra. I'm gonna do two hits with the Cobra, two hits with the Stealth, 
and we'll finish with one each of both drivers. The Pro V1s I have marked blue are for the blue shaft, which is the LA Golf in the Cobra. So let's give it a hit and see how this head-to-head -head goes. First hit with that Cobra actually felt awesome. Painted the line, felt really good. Felt just as good as I remember in the simulator. So one more and then we'll switch drivers. Second one, nowhere near as good as the first. Maybe I got my expectations a little too high on myself. That one was a little pulley. Dispersion off to see when we get up there and see where the ball is. But uh, now we'll switch and we'll try the TaylorMade. First swing with the stealth outside is that it was also just a little pulley, but I noticed that the face is a little bit like more muted. It feels a little more dull than the Cobra. So I noticed a big difference in hitting these outside just as far as the head feels. So let's give another hit on the TaylorMade. Hopefully I can get this one in play. That one was definitely better. Got that one in play, nice little high cut, which is my normal shot shape. Felt really good. So, so far with both drivers, I had two really good ones and then two pretty average ones. So now we'll switch back to the Cobra, put two more in play, and then over to the TaylorMade. So those two with the Cobra I was quite happy with. I think so far my best hits have been with the Cobra. Let's put the Stealth back in play and see if we can match those good hits. That so far was the best hit that I've had with the Stealth. So let's see if I can match one more. That was another really good one. So in this last series of going two Cobra, two TaylorMade, both of those were hit really good. So obviously I'm getting a little bit warmer, feeling comfortable on the hole. Now we only got one ball left for each driver. With these last two balls, I'm really gonna try to step up on it and see which one of these I can get my absolute best hit with. From there, we're gonna go up to the hole and see what the dispersion looks like and see which one is obviously further. So last hit, here we go. Okay, that one was roasted. That's as good as I can hit it. And I was with the Cobra. Let's see if I can match it with the Stealth. So that one was hit well too, but it had a bit more of a draw. The dispersion probably wasn't as tight as the Cobra. Those ones are kind of just fun hits because that's swinging as hard as I can. So obviously my accuracy is gonna shrink. Now let's go up to the hole and we'll see what the dispersion looks like and see which one's the furthest. Let's head up there. Okay, now that we're up on the fairway, we see some drives with really good dispersion. Like there's about five balls within 10, 15 yards of each other that are pretty tight. There is a mix of both TaylorMade and Stealth there. And then the miss hit, same thing. There's a mix of TaylorMade and Cobra drivers being miss hit. So far, I can only find nine of the 10 balls. There was one ball that I definitely pulled left and we just couldn't find it in the tall grass. So we'll have to figure out which driver that made me pull it so far left, but probably more user error than the driver itself. So let's kind of walk and we'll see which were good and which were bad. So the shortest out of all of them that we can find is with the Stealth. The Stealth had the shortest drive of all of them. We'll start with the bad and we'll finish with the good. So I had two more drives that were just off the fairway and they're neck and neck for distance. So let's find out which two those are. So the second shortest hit was with the Cobra and the next one beside it is the Stealth. Okay, now let's go take a look at the good ones, the ones that found the fairway. So out of the 10 drives that I had, five were exactly where I was aiming. So that's 50% accuracy, which I think is pretty decent for an amateur golfer like myself. Let's see the shortest in the fairway. We got a Cobra. So there's one Cobra in the fairway, one Stealth in the fairway. 
two Cobras in the fairway, two Stealths in the fairway. So on my good hits, these drivers are neck and neck. They are very close. So my only right miss was with the Stealth. I had no balls right of the fairway with the Cobra. So as far as dispersion goes, so far in just looking at all of these, I would say that the combo with the Cobra and the blue LAGP for me was tighter, but they both felt awesome. So really in doing a comparison, first go get fit. If you're on the fence about getting fit, 100% do it because this is how close we've gotten with two different drivers, two different shafts. They're both awesome. So I 100% recommend getting fit and both drivers are really good. Like the Cobra and the Stealth are fantastic drivers. So the last one in the fairway, which was the biggest hit, was the Cobra. So I'll pull up my cart and I'll see how far that was. Okay, moment of truth, the furthest drive that we had was 307 from that tee box. Keep in mind, because the hole is uphill, it rained last night, it's pretty wet, this is virtually all carry. So to get about 307 carry, the other balls were within 10 yards. So distance wise, they were all close. There was not one drive that was 40 yards further than the others. So between the Cobra and the Stealth, both equally far for me, based on the results that we got today, I would go with the Cobra and the LAGP Blue DJ Shaft. Both drivers were awesome and both shafts performed really well. I think just the combination for me, the Cobra and the Blue DJ LAGP were awesome. In wrapping up this video, based on the results and the hits and the feel that I had, I'm leaning towards the Cobra. The Cobra won our stock shaft option and it's still winning my fitted option. From just the feel, the distance, the accuracy, the stealth was very close. And if I had more time to dial in the stealth, become more familiar with it, hit 100 shots, potentially I could go with this. These drivers are so close, they're neck and neck, but in this test, I'm going with the Cobra. Thanks again for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We'll check in with you next time.